Yo, what's going on guys? Dustblade Graves right now is running the meta. He's incredibly hard to kill. He's incredibly tanky. I want him to think that I'm laying my ward here. It doesn't really matter. Echo is very weak early on. He started Q. That's going to slow down his clear massively, actually. So all we're going to do is just try to wait as long as we can. We'll get our ward down. Graves can do these little ward invades super consistently without losing too much because we have the fleet speed up and then we also have the E dash. It's very good to know where the enemy jungler is going to start. If you play Graves straight up, heads up, just full clear gank, full clear gank, you're going to lose pretty much all of your games. That Graves meta was long ago, like season six, season seven. In the current jungle meta, for, at least for Graves, you have to put some kind of pressure on the enemy jungler, or by default, the majority of the enemy junglers will outscale you, at least for team fights, whether it be a Ramus, a Nunu, a Zac. So we're forced into basically getting red and wraps. It's our fastest camps, and we need red buff. Auto E auto. So we're going to red wraps and pressure the map. So we could red wraps into his wraps, especially if we cross through mid. That's pretty efficient because we'll get level three. Normally to three camp uh, level three, it one of the camps has to be ground for Krugs. But if we can leech a little bit of minion XP, then it's fine. We want to auto the big one here. It's kind of hard to, but just walk around. Auto E auto. All right, now we're just going to cross on through. In games where you have zero priority in any of your lanes, there is a little bit of built-in risk to this because, like, let's say the mid and top both rotate to you, then you're going to lose some stuff. So here, for example, we can E onto him. We can auto or Q the wave as we cross over, and we'll be close to enough XP to get level 3 here. So our whole bot side is pretty much gone. There's not much for Echo to get, whether it's like an Echo or an Evelyn or an Udyr. I kind of want to smite this. So there's not much for him to retaliate for, and we're set up to bully the heck out of him. And now Graves is kind of wasting, I mean, uh, Zed's wasting his time a little bit. And he's dead. All right, cool. Like I said, Zed's wasting his time. We want to push mid now. We want this wave absolutely dumped and we might still be able to take his red buff from him. We'll see. We will see. We, pro we probably can't. We're missing a lot of health. You don't typically use your uh, W to farm camps with. In this case, it's fine. Because we know we're not going to run into enemy, any enemy jungler here. So yeah, we'll just take Scuttle instead. I'm missing too much health. Missing too much. With the fleet, we can kite everyone out. With red buff, we can kite them out, slows them. We have the ranged auto, so we can slow them with red buff before they can slow us. If Echo started on his red, we could just do our red wraps invade or just red in the raw invade. We'll get him with an auto W. Auto. Auto, auto, E, auto. Uh, I might actually be able to get a kill here, even though I don't have red buff. All right, not bad. We'll go ahead and push the wave because we have minion advantage. And we can cross down. I'd say we reset, grab boots. If you're ahead early on Graves, on Graves tier 2 boots is pretty strong, but since we have free boots, we'll go ahead and buy as much of our dust blades as we can possibly afford. The only way this champ wins is if not only if you're ahead, but the enemy jungler's behind. Echo is down in CS, he's down in XP, and he's down in gold spent at the moment. We need to use that tempo. We see him on top side of the map. So we'll go ahead and take his bot side. We'll come over here, grab wraps real quick. Raise with Q max first always, takes wraps really quick. You can just auto QE auto. I wanna focus the big one, and then we'll take wraps and invade his jungle. Or take uh, the cr <laughs> what am I trying to say? We'll take the uh, scuttle and invade his bot side jungle. So the whole time we're absorbing resources while still exerting pressure. Since I'm ahead of him, it would be risky for him to invade my top side. Plus, I kind of have a little bit of vision because of the scuttle. We'll leave a ward right here. People don't normally check that bush unless they're doing their blue. That ward oftentimes stays there for 
a long, long time. He might have just ended up resetting auto e auto. He might check Gromp first, unless he's pathing from Raptors. Who knows? If he's or pathing from base. If he's pathing from Raptors, then he would uh, come to Wolves first. All right, we're chilling. We can go gank their buff. They're not paying attention. I don't think they are paying attention. Hmm. This is actually a little bit awkward now. He's actually focusing me with his autos. It's kind of funny. Killing Graves is no easy task. That's hilarious. So Kog'Maw dies. He tries to turn it. He has high damage, but I'm a uh, level advantage on him. Jungle pretty much always has level advantage on bot lane. Graves farm's so healthy. It's ridiculous. Autos push back plus the fleet. Fleet heals you more the more AD you have as well. So it works well on Graves. His blue's coming up. We'll go invade his top side here in a moment. We already got his bot side. So if he did stick around, he's going to be wasting a lot of time. We should try to take it from Bush, though, just in case he tries to counter cheese us. Sometimes people are behind, they'll do desperate stuff, even if it's like, really risky. And we need one more auto. Wraps are coming up. We'll stick around for this. Mid and top always hit six first, even if they're not performing well. Like we have a kill assist. Like same CS as Zed, but hitting level six before mid is not consistent at all. Mids usually hit it around 5 minute 30 to 6 minute. Jungles typically hit it around 7 minute 30. Mm -mm. I almost feel like he's trying to bait me or something. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of just wasting time. Oh, okay, Echo was here. I thought he was moving kind of weird. We'll kill Echo on his red buff. I have R to get over this wall if need be, or my flash. We have to keep the pressure on, though. If, once you have your foot on their neck, you have to keep pressing. Once you take your foot off the gas, they start breathing again, and then they'll outscale you. So the next thing we need to do is start getting dragons. Not a big fan of heralds. Dragons are way more important. Even on a non-scaling like game champ like Graves, if you have drags, you're going to outscale the enemy. Auto, Q, auto, burn him with the R. Dragon would have been the smart move. Since their mid was dead, I had pressure on their jungler, got his red. They're sitting on full dust blade. Kind of want to grab my blue real quick. Arguably, this is a mistake because this doesn't really change the game. I won't get level 8 off of it, and I'm delaying dragon. But, uh, and I'm also sitting on a full item. Something to think about. Nice. Okay, we got Dusk. And we'll go ahead and pick up Longsword. Zed's top side. We should take drag here. So Echo's down in CS. We're up in CS. We have more gold, more XP, and more map pressure. This is exactly what you want on Graves. This champ doesn't win without some kind of consistent pressure on the enemy jungle. It doesn't have to be as much as we've had this game, but it's ideal. That's why Graves players, they... Um, they typically hyper carry or they int, and the really good Graves players will dodge comps where they know they don't have pressure. I can hire Elo. 
auto e auto q we have four grit stacked up right now it's a lot of extra armor grit in the early game isn't that important with how strong graves is because most champions can't sell you anyways if you kite it efficiently but this stage in the game when you're on a dragon fight grit's really nice because we'll be taking a lot less damage from dragon and then when people show up you can beat them up auto e auto down with the w auto q auto down he goes he didn't have time to r karma chain counters out echo pretty good found a control word how long do i have on this herald i have 100 seconds left so a minute 40. i'm not seeing anything we'll cross through mid bust that up a little bit i mean we do have the dust blade This blade has some really strong damage. Items been changed a lot. Your abilities is all up to an additional 20% damage on targets with missing health. That's perfect for Grave since his R is typically the thing you use last since it pushes you out of the fight. Auto E, auto R. I'm gonna flash that, I don't feel like dying. Got the Echo R with my R. Need to pop this. Probably not the best angle there. Zed might still. Oh, okay. I thought he still might actually be chasing there for a moment. We should take the Herald to the weakest turret typically, because you want to get the bonus first turret gold, not just plates. None of the turrets are that weak. Sets mid. Could run the Herald top. Rather stick with my jungle. We have, we're running out of time to lay it. I'll take red, lay it bot side. If you're in combat with champions or turrets, or epic monsters that won't let you actually lay your herald, it's very frustrating. So dragons, um, barons and whatnot. Used to be able to pin the herald behind these two guys and hold it there. It wasn't that useful, but it was kind of cool. It doesn't let you do that anymore. Yeah, it just walks through. Cheater. It's a dive move. We have gold advantage. Ooh, actually, Kogma is Rage Blade here. All right, maybe we're not diving. Auto Q, Auto E. Are they really chasing this? We need to build some distance away from this guy. Yeah, nice try, Cog. That's the second time he's greeted for me. He almost got me that time though. He was ripping and dipping with that rage blade. I'm surprised he got such an early rage blade. Because he does have two kills. No, you're kidding. The burn's too weak. Slowly getting my health back. Whenever you kill a large monster in a camp, the primary monster, you get healed based off your missing health. It's a little bit bigger the lower you are. Should die right my buff burn they actually didn't die you're kidding me i think we can still do something here auto q auto my couldn't quite get my q off because the cooldown there kogma once again greeting for the kill Oh my gosh, he almost killed me again. He almost kills me every time. Dust Blade cooldown is pretty short, 10 seconds until you can use it, because they don't want you to be permanently untargetable. The damage on it is so nice, though. That extra burst. We could reset. I still think I can solo the Echo with my level advantage. And the champ diff. Echo's so weak early on that he needs to do buff, buff, full clear down and accept the fact that it's going to be slow. If he doesn't, then he'll get invaded on buff by champions like Graves and Rengar. I would know because I play Echo. <laughs> Against players that are going to invade you. So you just gotta, gotta do it. Auto E, auto. Trying to pull him a little bit more to get the double Q action off. Couldn't quite find it. 
it's time for another herald oh hey echo i have already get away i think that's coming over here i gotta move No, he's not. All right, we're chilling. Yeah, you wanna walk through that smoke screen, buddy? You guys are doomed now. Yes, sir. I can tank this for a bit. We get our grit stack and we're chilling. We'll go ahead and I'd say take Carol, reset, fight for drag, spend my gold advantage at that point. Power of Graves, really cheesy character. Whenever Graves is viable, which he is viable right now, he just straight up ruins the game when he's played aggressively. Obviously, Graves can't play every game aggressively because if the enemies have ridiculous prio advantage, meaning if they can get to you way before your teammates can, and without even falling behind, then there's only so much you can do at that point on this champ. But if you are allowed to invade with, with relatively low resistance from the enemy laners, it's an easy clap. Second items always collector on Graves right now. His top 10 build, it's collector second item always. His only real item options right now is Dustblade in the collector, or he can go Yomu's in the collector. Problem with Yomu's is it doesn't give you the same type of damage output. You just have a little bit more mobility. And Dustblade also gives you more survivability in fights if you're being focused, because if you get that killer assist and you become untargetable, Makes it really hard for them to shred you down. You might remember an Umbral, Umbral Glaive was viable and then they nerfed it. Now no one takes Umbral Glaive on anything. We're up two drags. Now all we have to do is coast, kneel on the ball. Got him with Smite Auto, Q Auto, he flashes, cool. So yeah, we just gotta show up to drags and take him basically. We're gonna Q, auto, E, auto, R. Nice. Oop, let's leave this. Oh, he doesn't look like you get a free oracles anymore. We'll drop smoke screen on ourselves. And then we're good to go. A well placed smoke screen is one of the best CCs in the game. They can't see and they're turbo slowed. It's also hard, like when you're inside of the smoke screen, it's hard to realize like how far you need to move to get out of it. It's very disorienting. It's like it's very challenging to know like how long it's gonna take you to walk out of it. Cause I can't see. My teammates don't need me for that. I'm just gonna show up to Drax and take the enemy's jungle for now. I have a nice little full clear setup. I'll path into his blue buff up in 20. We have a beautiful uh, horseshoe clear coming up here. Should be there. I need to be careful. Only way we lose right now is by dying. Ooh, what? My wraps are gone. When did that happen? Strange. Someone was in my jungle. What if that was Echo? We have over double his CS. And that's why they can't beat us at drag fight. Because we have level advantage, got item advantage. Drags will be the key. If you're not playing for dragons on graves, you're going to end up dying at some point when you're diving, just being greedy. And then the enemies are going to come back into the game because they'll get a thousand gold if they kill me right now. That's worth more than three kills. Plus, we'll be dead, so they'll be allowed to farm freely. Staying alive is so important. I just took all the jungle camps. There's nothing left. And they quit. That is it for Graves, guys. This champ is Bonobo busted. If you if you see the enemy team lock in Graves, try to pick laners that can push and ward. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at the graphs, we had the second most damage in the game. I think if it went longer though, we could have had number one. 
Looking at damage taken, we would taken the most nearly in the game, the most on our team. Echo took the most because we were blasting him down. And self-mitigated, we self-mitigated the second most in the game. Graves is pretty balanced, and for runes high value. All in all, Graves jungle, Dustblade, extremely oppressive. Just remember, don't AFK full clear. It's a good way to lose all your games. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.